Hi guys, James here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. When it comes to making money online, guys, an email list is the most valuable asset to any online business. It doesn't matter if you're a new affiliate marketer who's just starting out or an established online business looking to increase revenue and boost sales. You need to build an email list and you need to start today. There is so much money to be made from email marketing, guys, and it's not difficult to get set up. And the great thing about email lists or email marketing is how easily you can automate it all. And that's what I'm going to show you today in this video. I'm going to show you how you can quickly build your own profitable email list. So you're definitely going to want to watch this video to learn how. And if you do, guys, I promise you by the end of this video, you will be able to build your own email list and make money online. Also, if you do enjoy content or videos like this, and you want to see more videos that are packed full of helpful tips, tricks, and money-making methods, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay, not to waste any time, let's get right into it. The first thing I want to do is I want to quickly just explain to you what steps you need to do to set up your email marketing campaign. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll show you to quickly set up each one of those steps. Okay guys, this graphic right here, basically I'll explain this in a second here. This is basically a graphic that explains or shows uh, what an email campaign looks like. The first thing you need to do guys when you're building your email campaign is you need a lead magnet and that this is that's this right here and a lead magnet is something that you're going to use to collect email addresses or something you're going to give them in exchange for their email address. Okay, that is the first thing you need to set up. So you need to have a landing page that uses the lead magnet that collects their email. Once you've collected their email, it goes into your list here and this is a list of all the emails you've collected using this lead magnet. The next thing you want to do is you need to set up your email sequences or email automation or email marketing. Okay. And that's what I've done right here. This one, two, three, four, five. Each one of these represents one sequence of emails. Okay. So you send your first sequence of emails to list. Once that's done, then you send the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And generally, usually when I'm setting these up, the first sequence will have like five emails or six emails, depending on what I'm marketing that will all promote one offer. Uh, it'll then sort of give a couple days off and then the next one on another offer will start promoting again and again and again. And you can have as many steps as you want, as many sequences. You could just have two, so you could just do two different offers or you could have up to 10 or 20 or whatever. It's up to you how you want to set this up and it depends on what kind of business you're running and what you want to promote to them. Okay, that's basically what you have to set up today and what we're going to be setting up today uh, in this video. I'm going to show you how to do all these steps. So I'm going to show you how to set up the lead magnet with the landing page. I'm going to show you how to create your list. And I'm going to show you how to set up these email sequences and automate it all so you can do it all uh, automated with very little work. Okay, and it's quite easy to do and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Okay, uh, first thing we'll do is we'll start with the lead magnet because that's the first thing we need to source is you need a lead magnet, okay? Now, the quickest way to source a lead magnet uh, would be go somewhere like idplr.com and in here, there's a whole bunch of things that you can use um, and basically you can use them and give them away for free as a lead magnet, okay? Um, there is tons of stuff here. You just go to products, any of these things right here, you can give away eBooks, software, videos, graphics, music. Uh, they have a ton of different products and pretty much in every niche you could imagine. And I believe it's pretty cheap. I think it's like 19 bucks per month or something like that. It's really, really cheap. Uh, and then you get access to all the resources they offer. Uh, this is probably the cheapest and easiest way to get a lead magnet, guys. Um, I use this a lot when I'm doing landing pages and I want to uh, quickly create something. I'll just use one of these as a lead magnet because it does work and it's incredibly easy to get set up and it's very fast. Uh, you don't need to spend a lot of time and resources creating a lead magnet. You can just use one of these. Now, if you have more time or money or resources, uh, one thing you could do, which works really well, is you could do something like I did uh, and that is create a training course or some sort of video lead magnet. Uh, the upside to doing this, guys, is that it converts really, really well, guys. You get a really high opt-in rate. Uh, the downside, obviously, is that it takes a lot of time, money, and effort to create something like this. Um, like, for example, like what I did was this landing page here. It's a 20-video uh, in-depth training course where someone can learn how to make money online as an affiliate marketer. Uh, it's got 20 videos. It's got landing pages, resources, all this kind of free stuff that they get um, that I use as a lead magnet to sign people up to my uh, mailing list. Okay. Something like this works really, really well, guys. And like when it comes to lead magnets, uh, the higher the perceived value of the lead magnet, generally the better optimum rate you're going to get. Uh, something like this, a video training course or videos or something like that, or webinar is going to convert much better than an ebook. Uh, it's just the way it goes when it comes to online marketing and when it comes to email list bidding, uh, building, uh, I've noticed that when I do something that's going to be a video based, uh, 
uh, lead magnet, it performs much better than a non-video one. But again, it's up to you. If you don't have the resources to do that, you could go here and they do offer videos that you can use as well. So you can make one of these into a training course or something, it's up to you. Uh, that's just something you should think about. Now, another thing guys, uh, whatever you do choose as your lead magnet, you need to make sure the lead magnet is something people will want. And also make sure the lead magnet is something related to the niche that your business is in or the offer you're trying to promote. All right. There's no point in trying to offer or market SEO services to an email list that you built on a weight loss opt-in. Okay. It's not going to work. Okay. Make sure that whatever your lead magnet is, it's in the same niche or related niche to the offer that you're promoting or your business that you're trying to promote. And guys, if you think that you can simply just put a pop-up where it's gonna say, hey, give me your email address, sign up to my mailing list. Uh, guys, that no longer works like it used to. People usually don't subscribe to your list just for the sake of it. Uh, you need to give them a reason to sign up. You need to give them a reason to give you their email address. Okay, so you need to have a lead magnet to give away to build your email list, guys. You need one. Uh, so if you want, you can use one of these PLR products uh, create your own. Uh, I don't know what niche you're targeting or what your online business is. Uh, you can find one from here that's related to your niche, or maybe I maybe think about creating a training video or webinar, or maybe get your own ebook created or write your own ebook. It's up to you. Uh, it depends on your business and what you're trying to promote. Okay. Uh, that's basically lead magnet guys. And it's very, very important that you get a good lead magnet to build your list on. Okay, so that's lead magnets, guys. Uh, the next thing we need to talk about is the opt-in form. Okay, uh, this is where you're going to be sending all your traffic and collecting all your email leads. Okay, um, this is basically what an email opt-in looks like. It's really simple. It's usually just a headline, some information, and a call to action for them to sign up or to download. Okay, then when they click on it, uh, they can sign up and get access to whatever you promised to them. Uh, and for this example, like I mentioned earlier, I'm giving away a 20 video uh, training course. That's what I use to build my email list. And for this particular example here on this page, I actually use Elementor to build this. Uh, but for this video, we're going to be using a much simpler system. We're going to be using uh, GetResponse. Uh, to build our landing page. And the main reason I like it is it's a great all-in-one service for email marketing from landing pages, webinars, opt-in forms, email automation. Uh, basically everything you need can be done using GetResponse. And that's what we're going to be using uh, to create our opt-in form. We're going to be using this program, GetResponse. Uh, they do offer a 30-day free trial. What I'm going to do, guys, I'll include a link down below. Uh, you can just click the link and you can sign up. Uh, you don't need a credit card or anything, so it's really easy to get started with them. Uh, you just click the link, sign up, and get started. And a heads up, guys, that link is an affiliate link. So if you do click the link and sign up and then purchase a plan after you, if you stay past the free 30 days, uh, I earn a commission. It doesn't cost you anything, but I do earn a small commission from that. Uh, so anyways, that's what we're going to be using for this video, guys. And guys, if you do stay on, uh, it's really cheap, guys. The cheapest plan is like only 15 bucks per month. So even if you stay past the 30 days, it's not that expensive. Expensive. And guys, it's really easy to use, guys. You're going to see right now how great it is and why I'm recommending this service. Okay, uh, so what you're going to do is just create your account and you're going to log in and you're going to be at your dashboard here. And the first thing we need to do is create a list. Uh, the list is, if you remember from here, right here, we need this right here. We need to create this list where we can store all the contacts that we're going to collect using our opt-in form. Okay. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is go to list and click on create list and just give this a name. Now, remember your subscribers will see this list name. So give it something relevant to what you're marketing. Uh, so we're going to call this, uh, let's give it a capital here, uh, make money online. And we'll just call this tutorial so we know which one it is and click on create. And there you go. Your list is created. Now we have somewhere to store all the contacts we're going to be collecting. And the next thing we have to do is create our opt-in form. So we're going to click on menu and go to landing pages. And we're going to click on create landing page. And you're going to be taken to this right here. And as you can see, there is a ton and ton of templates that you can work with. So that's a really nice feature of GetResponse, guys, is just look at all these uh, pre-done pages that you can quickly use. Uh, to get your landing page all set up and start making money online. They make it really, really easy, guys. And any one of these, you can just click on and start using. Um, that's one of the things I do like about this service, guys. Look at them. There's tons of them. It's been a while since I've actually looked through all the uh, templates that they offer. 
There is so many guys. It makes it really, really easy. If you're just like getting uh, getting into affiliate marketing or online marketing or marketing your business, and maybe you don't have time to hire a designer or something like that to create a landing page for you, you can just use one of these templates, edit it to how you like, and you're ready to go and you start collecting uh, leads and start uh, marketing online. Okay, let's uh, pick one of these templates here and see how it looks and then just do some editing and I'll show you how to work with these templates. Uh, let's pick something simple. Well, this one here is really simple, but I've worked with this before in a previous video, so we'll skip that one. Um, wow, there's so many to choose from. <laughs> uh, let's try this one here. Select business white paper. Uh, give your landing page a name. Uh, we're going to go make money online tutorial. Call it whatever you want. It's fine. Uh, thank you page. I'm not going to worry about. That's fine. And what we'll do is we'll start. Uh, we'll st I'll show you how to edit this here. I'll just wait for the loader to finish loading. Uh, let me first just show you some of the things on how it works here. Uh, on the right hand side, these are all the different elements you can work with on your landing page here. Uh, anytime you want to add something, you simply just left click on it and you just drag it into the workspace and it adds it on there. And you don't need to worry about anything. You just sort of drag it where you want and that's what will be shown. So you don't need to worry about HTML markup or anything like that. Uh, it takes care of everything for you. So if you want to put an image here, we just drag the image on here and now there's going to be an image on that spot on the landing page. And if you want to edit it, you can just change the image to whatever you want uh, it's up to you and there you go you've got a different image uh, it's really really simple you can resize stuff uh, everything is just drag and drop point and click it's really really simple guys it's so easy to click uh, to create landing pages using uh, this landing page builder let's say you want to change the background you don't want this image just double click on it and we can change it to a seller solid color get rid of the image like that and we've got ourselves a solid color uh, landing page or background make it a bit darker and click OK. And the part that you see is obviously this part here. Everything that's got lines that's not viewable. So this is what you're worried about right here. Okay, let's say you want to change this headline. You want it to be something different. You just click on it, highlight it, and now you can enter whatever text you want. Okay, it's really, really simple, guys. Uh, if you want to center it, you can just center it. Uh, you want to change the font type, you can change the font type, you can change the font size. Uh, it's really, really, really simple to do, guys. And there you go. Like for example, let me just grab this headline here so you don't have to watch me type it. And we'll go back into the email here and I'll just paste it in there. Uh, let's change the font. Uh, we'll just go something, something like that. It doesn't matter. It's really simple. Let's unbold it. Let's use a different font. That one doesn't look so good. There you go. We can just do something like that. If I want to make this box a different size, I can change the size of it. I can center it. I can do all kinds of stuff. Move it around. Uh, if you want to get in the center line, just move it till you see that green line that's centered. Uh, let's say you want to change this logo to something else. You just double click on it. Click on here and we can choose an image. If you want to upload an image, you could or you can use... Uh, I'm just going to throw this one in there just because I have it. So there we go. You change the logo. And if we want to change this, we just click on here and we can adjust the size of the image inside. Recenter it. See what I mean? It's really simple, guys. Like it's obviously that image doesn't work for this. Okay, that's basically how it works, guys. If you want to get rid of something, you just delete it. Let's say we don't want this. And just delete it. This is our form here. We can drag our form. We can change the sizes of everything. Just click on. You see, everything's just drag and drop, point and click. Really, really easy to work with. See, easy. Let's say you don't want this image. You want to get rid of it. Just delete it. We just want a simple landing page like that, something simple, okay? It's really, really easy, guys, to work with this landing page builder. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna actually quickly mock up a landing page here. I'm gonna pause the video, and then I'll show you what I did so you're not watching me do it. Okay, and here's the landing page that I quickly threw together for my lead magnet. Again, your landing page might be different based on what you're trying to promote, but if you're doing an online business or a make money online type niche, uh, maybe you might want to pause the video now and just copy what I did here because uh, this is basically a landing page that I've already tested before on another campaign um, and it does convert really, really well. So something like this is a good start. You can just change the headline and the text to be more relevant to whatever your lead magnet is or the niche that you're, that you're in. Uh, one thing that you do have to do is you need to add a links down at the bottom that says privacy and terms it's not a big deal uh, that's pretty much the landing page guys um, you can do whatever you want guys but like I said this is a good uh, a good starting point right here okay 
And for the thank you page, guys, again, I just did something really simple. Uh, you could put a, an affiliate offer or something on here. Uh, it depends if you're trying to promote an affiliate offer, if you're trying to market your own online business, and again, you're not gonna put an affiliate offer. Uh, maybe if you have a retail store or some kind of like uh, e-commerce site or something, you could uh, put a link to some products or something like that, or some specials, or if you had a coupon code or something, you could put that on this thank you page uh, to try and get some sales and stuff like that. Uh, but again, it all depends on what your niche is and what your online business is will determine exactly how this looks. But again, like I said, this thank you page is very, very simple. The thank you page just needs to say thank you for joining your list. Please check your inbox. That's basically what you want them to do. You want them to check their inbox to get the free lead magnet that you promised them. You want to just inform them of what the next step is, okay? And like I said, you can take this as an opportunity to try and market to them. It's up to you. It all depends on your online business, okay, and how you want to run it. Okay, and once you've got that all set up, the next thing to do is click on next step. It's gonna ask me to set up for the mobile. I'm not gonna bother, but normally you would just edit it and change the, adjust the font size and stuff like that. So it looks good on mobile devices. I'm not gonna bother, I'm gonna proceed without mobile. And the next step is just some SEO settings that we have to do. And we just need to give it a page title. Uh, learn how to make money online something simple but whatever it is depending on what you're promoting uh, if you want you can do a custom subdomain so you can use this uh, so it'll be whatever you want so you could do uh, make money online tutorial that's fine uh, but again you can put whatever you want that'll just be your URL the link that you're gonna send the traffic to uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to select the list that you want all the contacts to go to okay and for that, you're just gonna use whatever list that you created earlier. So that's a make money online tutorial. But again, it'd be whatever list that you created uh, is the one you're gonna be using. And that's just gonna be where you're gonna store all the contacts that you're gonna get from this, uh, this opt-in form. Uh, we don't want confirmed opt-in and we don't wanna add into the cycle on day. Uh, we just want to basically, that is the old way of using the autoresponders, but since we're going to be using automation, we don't need to use that. So you can unclick that. And then you got to make sure that the default thank you page is selected. Uh, if you wanted a custom page, you could, but we're just going to go with that. That's fine. And the rest of the stuff you don't need to worry about. Just click on publish and it's going to save our landing page. And that is the URL to our landing page or our opt-in form. Uh, the next step we have to do is set up the automation, okay? Uh, this is really simple to do, guys. Let's go right, let's do it right now. Let's click on here, and we're gonna go over to automation. And this is we're gonna be setting up the automation for our email marketing campaign. And the first thing I do is I'm gonna show you how to create a message, and then I'll show you how to add it to your own automation so you can start your own email campaign and start making money. Uh, first, let's make our email or our message. What you're gonna do is click on create automation message. And the first thing you have to do is just give it a, a name. Uh, this is the, only for you. Uh, so give it something descriptive so you can um, uh, email, make money online, uh, something like that. Make it something descriptive because later on when you're working with the automation, it's gonna be easier for you to pull the correct emails for the steps that you wanna work with. So you'd make it like welcome email, whatever. And then you go email one, make money online to it, email two, email three, so on and so forth. Uh, that way it's going to be a lot easier when you get into the automation part, but I'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to select the list that it's linked to. This is the email list that we created earlier. So whatever that is, mine's make money online tutorial. Uh, the next thing is to give it a subject line. So th again, the first thing you want to do is you want to welcome, welcome them, right? Welcome to the group. Uh, here is your download link dot 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 and maybe add an emoji here help improve your open rates um, um, that's it for that the next thing we need to do is we have to design the actual content or add the body of the text so you're going to click on design message and it's going to give you a whole bunch of template guys if you want you can work with one of these templates uh, I'm not going to work with one of these templates but you could easily just click on one of these and just edit it and change the text um, and then use that uh, but I'm not going to I'm going to go into blank templates here and I'm just going to select a blank template because that's what I'm going to work with uh, just so I can quickly show you how to how to create an email here okay or one of these messages all right let's start by dragging over a text block so you just again you just drag and drop and it's gonna give you a text box here and you can start uh, filling this in here. 
And basically in the first email guys, for most of you, usually it's going to be a welcome email. Uh, you're going to have instructions or a link for them to download the lead magnet that you promised. Um, I don't know what your business is or what you're targeting, but the welcome email should always be pretty much the same. You should introduce yourself or your business and give them the lead magnet. Okay. Uh, so what I do is I just say, you know, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. Hey, welcome to the group. Um, thank you for signing up, something like that. Maybe put a little bit of text about your business or the offer that you're trying to promote, but something just basically just to introduce them to, to who you are, okay? All right, so I do something, for example, like this. I'd be like, hi, and then I wanna input something from the actual form because we collected their name. So I click on here and I will click on first name. We didn't collect, we collected name. So we will add name right there. Uh, Thank you for joining the group. Here is the download link to your XXX, whatever the lead magnet it is. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, just something simple like that. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Um, what, what I would do is, um, uh, yeah, best regards and then just sign it. Uh, what I would do probably is I would do something simple like this as the start. And then maybe right here, I would add some, some text, just maybe introducing my business and then a little bit more text, maybe talking about the lead magnet a little bit and then maybe uh, add the link again and then some more text right here talking about my business. Generally, that's how I'm gonna usually format my emails when I'm gonna be doing the welcome email. Again, I'm gonna say thank you for joining the group. Here's your download link. And then you would just have the link right here. And then I would have some text right here again and I would talk to a little bit, maybe introduce myself. Then I might talk about the product again or whatever I'm uh, promoting or the lead magnet and I get a link. I can't really tell you how to format this welcome email guys because it all depends on your business and how you're promoting it and what your niche is. But this is generally how I'm gonna format it right here, okay? so. The one key thing to know about your welcome email is that you give them the link right away and you introduce yourself, okay? Because you're starting to build a relationship here. The whole goal of like email marketing and why it works so well is that you're building a relationship with the reader and you're warming them up and you're selling to them and they're gonna trust you more so it's gonna convert more and you're gonna make more sales. So it's really important that you start right from day one when you first send out that first email, you start building a relationship. And when it comes to stylizing this, you can add like, you can add images and stuff like that if you want to. Uh, generally, I stay away from uh, sending images or anything like that um, in my emails. I like to keep them simple. I find that when you start adding images and stuff like that, sometimes it can be um, get flagged to spam and stuff like that. So I find just a simple text email is the best for me. Uh, but again, it's up to you and how you wanna run your business. If you wanna really brand your emails, you can do that. If you're trying to promote your online business, that's a good thing to do, like do custom uh, color fonts, everything like that. You can do that. They allow you to do this uh, if you just go into the settings and stuff like that. Anyways, when you've done that and you've got your body written and you've got your welcome message ready and you've linked it all and everything's good to go, just click on next and you're gonna come back to here and if you want you can do it'll do a spam check you can send a test message it is always good to send a test message uh, before you go live with a campaign and see how it looks in the inbox make sure there's no problems um, just generally just to check it before you start doing anything okay uh, next thing you want to do is click on save and finish and it's gonna save it to your automation messages right here and next thing we have to do is we have to add it to our actual automation to our workflow so let's do that right now, guys. It's really easy to do. It's really simple. Uh, click on workflows here and you're gonna click on create workflow. Uh, we're gonna click on build from scratch. They do have all these templates. If you want, you can try using them. Um, I like to just build it from scratch. I find it works much better for me. But again, you might wanna take a look at some of these to get an idea of what you can actually do with this automation because there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, I can't cover it all in this one video, but I can show you how to get it set up uh, and get yourself started here. Uh, Cause it's all kinds of things like uh, cart abandonments and all the stuff like that. If you have an e-commerce business, there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do uh, with this with this program. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna click on start now on build from scratch. And it's gonna take us over to the, um, let's get out of this here. We don't need that. Uh, give your automation a, a name. So uh, make money online. And we're just gonna call it toot. 
And we'll start the process when someone su subscribes. So when someone subscribes to a specific list, we want to start uh, running the automation or start putting them through this process here. And what we want to do first, we want to click on here and we want to select a specific list and we want to select the mailing list that we created earlier and the one that's linked to our opt-in form. Okay, so now what it's doing guys is now it's basically saying anytime someone signs up to his list, it's going to start doing whatever actions we add to the workflow. Okay, and the first thing we want to do is we want to send a message. So as soon as they sign up to the email list, uh, we want to send them that welcome message. So we're going to drag over a send message. So you just left click, drag it into the workflow and it gets added here. And we want to select a message from uh, automation. And I want to select a specific message. And you can see why I said, guys, to give your email a specific proper name because it makes it a lot easier when you want to pick them, okay? So we look here, welcome email, make money online to it. We're going to click on that. And I know that's the first one because I gave it that descriptive name, okay? Uh, you're going to click on here. Now it's now what it's doing, guys, is anytime someone signs up to this list, the first thing it's doing is sending this email. Now what we want to do, guys, we want to add a wait, okay? So what we want to do is we want to wait one day before we do anything else. So we're going to go here on wait in Actions Basic, and we're going to drag this over to here, and we're going to connect it. Just left click, drag onto here, and we can connect the two together. So now it's sending the message and it's waiting for one day, and it's going to do whatever we ask it to do now. Now, what you want to do, guys, and I like doing this specifically for the welcome emails, is I like to check to see if they've even uh, received that message or they've clicked the link or opened that email, okay? Because I want to make sure they get that uh, lead magnet that I promised. And if they haven't opened that email, I like to send it again just in case. So what I like to do here is you go message opened, and we're just going to drag this onto the workflow, and we're just going to connect it up. And we want to do a specific message automation. And we want to check a specific message and we want to select the one that we just sent. So what this is doing now, guys, is it's checking to see if somebody, if this person actually opened up this message. And now we have a choice. We can do something, a certain action if they did, or we can do another action they didn't. Now, what I like to do is if they did not open it, I like to resend that email again. And I usually do this for very important messages that I want to make sure that I get an extra chance of them opening and reading. So we're going to drag this onto here and we're going to connect them up. And again, we're gonna go automation. We're gonna select the same message again. And now this is gonna send this out. And what we wanna do over here, guys, is we wanna send another message. Because if you remember from this at the start here, the sequences here, this is one email sequence. It contains four, five, six, seven emails in a single uh, sequence. So we're right now what we're doing is we're creating that first email sequence. So we're gonna to wanna to send it another email. So you wanna click on add elements and wanna click on send message. Okay, and then we're gonna, again, we're gonna drag this over to here and we're just gonna link that up. Uh, the other thing we wanna do guys is right here on this one here, we wanna add another delay, I forgot to do that. And we're gonna add a delay of one day, like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one here and we wanna connect it to this workflow. So after they've opened, if they've opened, uh, haven't opened this email, it gets sent again, it waits another day. And then what we're gonna do is say, okay, we're gonna put them back into the flow with everyone else because now we know everyone here has probably opened that email. There's a good chance they have, okay? I'm not going to keep sending this message over and over again, but usually that's how I usually set it up for the first welcome email. And if you want, you could do something more advanced where you could do link, um, link tracking. So if you had a specific link that was in the message, you could track that link to see if they've clicked on it. And if they have, then you could put them on here. I'm not going to do that right now, guys, because again, I didn't create a link in that email when I was showing you how to mock it up. I just showed you basically how to create the email itself. But if you had a link in there, you could check to see if they actually clicked on that link by just going to elements and then you go link clicked and you can basically check for if somebody clicked on a link in that email. Uh, so that's another good thing to do. Uh, basically, what you have to do now, guys, is just continue doing this. So you're going to add a message. All right. So you're going to create a message. And next thing you want to do is you want to add a wait. Again, it's going to wait for one day. And again, the next thing you want to do is you want to send another message and you want to link them up. Obviously, you're going to have to go and create these messages before you can actually link them up. But I'm just going to show you how to create the workflow here so you get an idea of how it actually works. And then you can go back and create all these messages and uh, create them. Uh, the next thing you want to do again is you want to add another wait here. So again, you see how quick this is, guys? It's really, really crazy what you can do here. Okay. And you just keep doing that for your sequence. So once you've, let's say you've sent all, let's say this is the last email in the sequence, all right? So this is uh, one, two, three, four, and we'll do one more. 
just to make it uh, five. Again, we'll just drag that into there, okay? So let's say you've, you've done your first sequence here, guys. So this is your first email sequence that we showed here. This is this right here. You've sent your five emails. The next thing you have to do, guys, is you're gonna wanna put a wait. And instead of doing a one day wait, you're gonna wanna modify this and you wanna change this to about, I don't know, like five days or four days or three days. But usually what I do is I do five days or seven days, okay? And now what's going to do, guys, is going to go through all this and it's going to wait for five days and then you can start sending another message. So this could be your next sequence. So this could be sequence number two. So like I showed you over in the graphic earlier right here, this is now this sequence right here. And we just, again, you just do the same steps you did before, creating these sequences, and then again, do a pause of five days and then you create the next sequence. And each one of these sequences, generally, I like to focus on one product to promote. So I don't like doing like five different products in one week. I like to focus on one product and really trying to pitch it to them and then moving on to the next product. Uh, but again, you can do it how you want. It all depends on your business as well. Because if I'm doing affiliate marketing, again, I'm gonna focus on one product per week. But maybe I have a business where I'm trying to promote different sales and, and products and stuff like that and um, uh, specials and everything that I want my customers to know about, I might focus on five different offers in that week. That's fine. It's all related to your business. Again, it all depends on what your niche is, what your business is, and how you're trying to promote it. I'm just trying to show you guys how you can use this software to do it all really easily and automated. And like I mentioned, guys, the really cool thing about this is that you can add as many sequences as you want and you can make the marketing campaign as long as you want. Like I've got some like workflows that are literally three months long, three and a half months long. So basically what happens is I add someone to the workflow or to the email list. And this basically what it'll do is it'll market to them for three months at a time automatically. I don't have to do anything. All I have to focus on is just driving traffic to that landing page. And this software, this program takes care of everything for me. It's incredibly powerful what you can do with this software, guys. There's so much money you can be made with email marketing if you set up something like this. And when you get your advertising campaign really dialed in and your landing page really dialed in, uh, you could be maybe spending $1.50 per lead, but you know that after they've gone through this workflow, you've made $15 or $25 from that one lead. That's what this can be, do for you. That's the kind of system you can set up using GetResponse, guys. Email marketing, guys, is one of the best ways to make money online, and it's really simple to do with GetResponse. Uh, if you're not using this for your online business or affiliate marketing business, uh, you are missing out, and you're missing out on a lot of sales and a lot of money. Uh, with that being said, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe and thumbs it up. Until next time, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you then.